interesting going back to the discussion about unintended consequences. Ten years ago, we started working on this technology for soldiers to carry more weight to protect them from injury. And personally, I started doing it. My brother was a Navy SEAL with SEAL Team 6. Three weeks into the project, I get the call, my brother broke his neck. And all of a sudden, it became very clear that we could actually use this technology in a different way, in a way to help people stand up and walk again. And so today, I think the first time in Comic-Con ever, we're going to have an actual real exoskeleton stand up and demonstrate to you today. Wow. So we got Chris Tagatek here, who's going to stand up and then show off the exoskeleton. So Chris is completely paralyzed from the, the torso down. Um, he was an active athlete. I think he's still a superhero. I always forget how tall he is. The device is basically a wearable robot. It's, it's not the Iron Man suit, it doesn't fly, but what it does is it actually allows Chris to get up and walk for hours at a time. Um, it's got powered knees and powered hips, and with that, it, he can take steps and move on. You wanna take some, some steps, Chris? All right. So just like you saw in the video, I mean, this is, I, I like to consider this exoskeleton like the, the first version of the cell phone. And there's many more to come. I mean, what you saw in the video with a firefighter actually wearing an exosuit and actually helping put out firefighters, that's not decades away, that's years away. So it's pretty exciting times.